arts classes we are continuing with the topic addition of fractions so let's learn how to find the sum of unlike fractions but before we begin let me tell you what are unlike fractions unlike fractions are those fractions which have different denominators just look at this question it is 8 by 9 and this is 4 by 6 so both these fractions have different denominators so such fractions are called unlike fractions but how do we find the sum of unlike fractions we first convert these unlike fractions to their equivalent like fractions by finding the lcm of their denominators so let's begin with this question everyone This question is find the sum of the following. So as we are aware that these are unlike fractions, so first we are going to find the LCM of their denominators nine and six. When we find the LCM, if there is an even number, we begin with two. Nine is not divided by two, so we move to the next number, which is six. Six divided by two will give us three. So we write nine as it is, and here in place of six, I write three. Both the numbers are odd, so I divide both these numbers by three. Nine divided by three will give us three, and three divided by three will give us one. So LCM of nine and six is equal to two into three into three into one. Now two times three is six. Six times three is eighteen, and eighteen into one gives us eighteen. Now let's convert these unlike fractions to their equivalent like fractions whose denominator should be equal to eighteen. So I first convert eight by nine, and when we are going to find the equivalent fractions, then the numerator and denominator should be multiplied by the same number. So our denominator space. What do we need? We need eighteen. So nine should be multiplied by what number so that the product is equal to eighteen? It is two. So the numerator will also be multiplied by two. Eight times two gives us sixteen, and nine times two gives us eighteen. Similarly, we we'll find the equivalent fraction of four by six, whose denominator should be equal to eighteen. So six should be multiplied by what number so that it is equal to eighteen? It is three. Similarly, the numerator will also be multiplied by three. So four times three gives us twelve, and six times three is equal to eighteen. Now we have got the two like fractions which are required to be added. So let's find the sum of like fractions. How do we find the sum of like fractions? Students, we first find the sum of the numerators and write it at numerator's place, and then below it we write the common denominator. So I draw this bar and we find the sum of the numerators: sixteen plus twelve upon the common denominator, which is eighteen, and sixteen plus twelve is equal to twenty-eight upon eighteen. So this is the sum of these two unlike fractions. In part B, we are asked to find the sum of one by two, two by three, and three by four. And what do we observe? That all these are unlike fractions. So we first have to find. The LCM of two, three, and four. So let's do the calculations. I write here two, three, and four. And first, I write two as we got two even numbers. So two divided by two gives us one. Three is not divisible, and four divided by two gives us two. Again, I take two. This is one. This is three, and this is one. I take three now. This is one, one, and one. So LCM of two, three, and four is equal to two into two into three, which is equal to twelve. So let's convert this fraction one by two in 
equivalent like fraction so that the denominator is equal to 12. 2 should be multiplied by what number so that it is equal to 12? 2 times 6 will give us 12. So the numerator should also be multiplied by 6. So 1 times 6 is equal to 6 and 2 into 6 gives us 12. Now we convert the next fraction to its like fraction so that the denominator is equal to 12. 3 times 4 will give us 12. So the numerator should also be multiplied by 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So the fraction is 8 by 12. I convert 3 by 4 also to its equivalent fraction whose denominator is equal to 12. 4 should be multiplied by what number? It is 3. So that the product is equal to 12. So we should multiply the numerator also by 3. 3 times 3 gives us 9. So all these are now equivalent. Sorry. All these are now like fractions. So let's find their sum. 6 by 12 plus 8 by 12 plus 9 by 12. What do we do? We write the common denominator at the denominator's place and here at numerator's place we are going to find the sum. So 6 plus 8 plus 9 will be equal to what? 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 9 is equal to 23 by 12. This is your answer. In C part, we are finding the sum of 4 by 6 plus 5 by 8 plus 2, which is a whole number. So we can express it in the form of a fraction as 2 by 1. So what do we observe? All these have different denominators. That is why they are unlike fractions. So let's find the LCM of 6, 8 and 1. We will do the calculations here on the side and we begin with 2. 6 divided by 2 gives us 3, 8 divided by 2 gives us 4 and this is 1. Again I take 2, this is 3, this is 2, this is 1. Again I take 2, this is 3, this is 1, this is 1. And here I take 3 now. 1, 1 and 1. So, the LCM of 6, 8 and 1 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And 8 times 3 gives us 24. Now let's convert each of these fractions to their like fractions whose denominator should be equal to 24. So I start with the first one which is 4 by 6. Now 6 should be multiplied by what number so that the denominator is equal to 24? It is 4. So the numerator will also be multiplied by 4. 4 times 4 gives us 16 and 6 times 4 gives us 24. Let's convert the next fraction now. It is 5 by 8. So 8 should be multiplied by what number? So that the denominator is equal to 24. 8 times 3. So let's multiply the numerator also by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Now we convert the last one which is 2 by 1. So 1 should be multiplied by what number? So that the denominator is equal to 24. So it should be multiplied by 24 only. And 2 should also be multiplied by 24. Now 2 times 24 gives us 48. So let's find the sum of these like fractions now. It is 16 by 24 plus 15 by 24 plus 48 by 24. So what do we do? At the denominator's place we write the common denominator which is 24. Now we find the sum of the numerators. 16 plus 15 plus 48. 16 plus 15 is equal to 31. 31 plus 48 will give us 79 by 24. So what do you observe? In first part and second part as well as in the third part we got improper fractions as 
the sum. If you want, you can convert them to mixed fractions also. I hope you all would have understood by now how to find the sum of unlike fractions. So, bye-bye.